Hello, I'm Screffy, and welcome to episode 25 of Playing Through Pikmin 4. We're closing in on the finale here, I can feel it. We're well into the game's sixth area, the Primordial Thicket, and I'm very excited to see more of it. Collect some more treasures there, do some more Dondori challenges there, and, well, find Louie, because that appears to be the one big bottleneck here. Um, I've got plenty of raw materials, but that's because I've purchased everything there is to purchase in the lab, aside from the occasional renewable materials, and I'm working on uh, earning enough puppy points for the final skill that Ochi can learn, which would be an infinite rush. Infinite stamina for Ochi so that I can just rush everywhere. It's amazing. <laughs> um, and it's very much an endgame sort of skill, because if Ochi wasn't already overly powerful enough, uh, that would definitely set him into another tier. Before I go, the one thing I'm gonna do is learn the names of the enemies that we encountered last time. Just in case we encounter them again, I want to know what to call them. So, we've got the Blizzarding Blowhog, which is just like the Snowy Blowhog, except bigger, more powerful, f uh, fires its snow blasts more frequently. Yeah, it's, it's very tough. And I believe that's going to say, yeah, Sus Nivis Ventist Hypertrophic version. Uh, we'll get to the notes on it later, though. <laughs> we also encountered the Baldy Longlegs. We had encountered them before in Olimar's Shipwreck Tale, but now we've got notes on it. Uh, we encountered the Doodlebug, which is the poison spewing variant of the Iridescent Flint Beetle. In Pikmin 2, this was part of the Flint Bug family, so it was a little up in the air if that was the same family as the Iridescent Flint Beetle. Um, but the Glint Beetle is still part of the Glint Beetle family, so not quite the same. Now, in addition to the Skeeter Skate, apparently this is a different species, the Mucker Skate. Very interesting. It exclusively fills up that... Uh, sack on its head with mud rather than water. So, interesting that that's a different species. Uh, let's see, we also encountered the elusive red spectralid, um, which, when downed, gives you a drop of ultra spicy nectar. So that's very good. Um, and we found the puff stool, another enemy returning from all the way back from Pikmin 1. Great to see them again, even if they prove to be a pretty formidable enemy. And we're not done. The Grub Chucker. I had also encountered this one in Olimar's Shipwreck Tale, uh, but I, for the longest time, didn't know what to call them. But apparently they are indeed a Grub Chucker. They grab things up with those claws, throw them into its cranium, and uh, they're just highly defended uh, with armor and with tall legs, you have to get Pikmin to climb up and attack its underside. So, very interesting enemy. Uh, speaking of interesting enemies, the Bog Swallow was another one that we encountered in the last episode. Uh, and that one likes to vacuum up Pikmin and lives exclusively in the mud. A uh, very interesting enemy. Gastropoidulus oculii. Gastropoidulus oculii, from the polyocular slug family. So, all of those green spots on its head are indeed all of its eyes. Very interesting. Okay, that's all the new creatures accounted for. And we're still not done encountering them. 122. It was way more than any other Pikmin game. And I can't believe we're still not done. That's awesome. So, let's go out and find some more, and explore. I hope we rescue that veterinari veterinarian Nell soon. I'm starting to get antsy. Alright, we're headed back. I've got 41% of the area complete. I imagine that uh, wherever Louie is hiding, it's going to account for 
quite a large percentage of the area. So we've got to keep that in mind. Alright, back in the primordial thicket, and we're going to grab the recommended amounts of Pikmin. It's imperative to get the lay of the land. Scope things out with your survey drone. Uh, I'll do that in a moment. I've got some of the lay of the land here. For example, I know that just over yonder, there's some dusk pustules that I wasn't able to pick up yesterday. Let's see. And I want to render some more of this area safe. We got rid of the puff stool, but there's still more to be done here. For example, we could build this. Oh dear. It's all under control, everyone. Including you, Ochi. Mm. Let's clean up the rest of that. And let's see what's up here. Because it seems we're close to a treasure. Oh, indeed. Another heroine's tear. Uh, and let's put out an idler's alert for any winged Pikmin that are back there. If there are any back there. Are they on their way? Yeah, they are. Okay, great. Perfect. Now let's see what's up that climbing wall before we do anything else. Because I think... If I recall correctly, this is going to lead up to the Bar of Gold, yes. Ooh, hello. Very nice. Okay, hold up, hold up. We've got plenty of uh, ultra spicy spray. How much? A thousand? Okay, I, I've been, I've been saying it. I, I've been thinking it. I had a feeling that it would be imperative for us to grow a bunch of purple picking. Now, uh, the time is, has been realized for us to employ them. To carry a big bar of gold. I wonder how much sparkly that could be worth. Okay, so, we just need to swap out all our Pikmin 
for purple Pikmin. Uh, let's see. Oh boy. Okay. The power of Ochi carrying a hundred purple Pikmin who each weigh the amount of ten Pikmin on his back effortlessly. This rescue pup is something else. Alright, and as I collect this, let's activate one of you. And now I realize that one of those ice Pikmin must have delivered an ultra spicy berry. <laughs> so I have one in my inventory. What a sight, right? Whole bar of gold. Alright, this is gonna take a while. So in the meantime, Ochi can do some solo exploration. Uh huh. I figured one of at least one fungus here. Just look at how powerful Ochi is. Like, even taking a little bit of damage, as soon as he's out of combat, he's gonna start healing that back up. And he barely took any to begin with. Ooh, there's a Flarlick up there. Very... Well, not that we exactly need it anymore, but... It's still important to know. Now, here's where Ochi might have a bit more trouble, because sheer fleas like to latch on. And while he could hit flighty douse mites, I believe, with a jumping bite, I'm not sure if I can do that here. So I'm going to get Pikmin for that. <laughs> who just happened to be complete with carrying that big bar of gold and completing the Dazzle series. Excellent. Very well done, all you flowered purple Pikmin. Now I'm going to get back the uh, recommended group. Yeah, completing the Trial of the Sage Leaf really uh, helped me out there. <laughs> if I didn't have a purple onion, then I would have had to scour all of the caves that I've been through for violet candy pop buds that could... I'm going the wrong way. That could, uh... give me, you know, five purple Pikmin at a time. Um... Which would be rough. Though not entirely... It's not impossible. It would just take a while. As expected with a thousand weight treasure or something like that, because there used to be one in Pikmin too, the Doomsday Apparatus. I believe it... One kilogram it was, I think? A kilogram weight. Uh, which also took a hundred purple Pikmin, and it usually takes like... half the day or so to carry it back. You're not about to... Yeah, I'm not losing any of these Pikmin to a flighty Joust Mite. Alright. 
How many Ice Pikmin here? Only 30! So we can send Ice Pikmin in to freeze this mud lake and then collect this treasure. Oh, and unlock a new base? In fact, hold off on that. <laughs> but I don't trust these. Yeah. Yeah, that egg had matites in it. So what could this egg have in it? I doubt it's going to be just nectar. Oh? Well, okay then. For once, there's uh, no big enemies guarding a base like this. Just... Oh, Louie was at this base. Interesting. The Maple Bridge is the name of this one. Alright, now lest I forget, let's uh, transport that treasure that I just left there, along with these. There we go. Missed one. The Toys of Giants series is complete. Excellent. And now we can call up these ice Pikmin and, uh, ooh, hold up. How do I get over there? I mean, I suppose I could have taken these mushrooms, perhaps. But I could also get there from there. Oh, okay, okay, there's a passage right over here. have no issue with it when I uh, properly rush them. All right, let's get some white Pikmin on this. Have some Pikmin and maybe Ochi dig that up. Ooh, use rope so that we can easily get up here if the base is somewhere else. And then, uh, we'll need Ochi, but I want to get over to that bit of raw material over there. No task left uncompleted, if I can help it. Woo! Oh. <laughs> it's okay, Ochi. Actually, it's not okay. We left one. <laughs> but that'll get cleaned up. Hmm. I suppose... I have to... F well, do I have to freeze this lake? Ochi, can you go in here? No. No, you cannot. Okay, so I do have to freeze this lake in order to get you over here. Okay, here comes that last raw material. And the clay bridge is complete, so we can see where that leads. Another Dondori challenge? Sure, we can do one today. Look, it's a leafling! 
I, I just, I like doing weird voices for them. They're completely consumed by the art of Dondori. We've got to free them. Free them by consuming ourselves in the art of Dondori. Cliffhangers hold. Interesting. So we'll, looks like we've got some more uh, vertical terrain. We've seen that before in the first trial of the Sage Leaf, the first story. And we've got Yellow Pikmin and Rock Pikmin, which is a good combination for me because I used to practice the Rust Yard from Pikmin 3 all the time. Uh, and that one features Yellow Pikmin and Rock Pikmin. At least the, the Collect Treasures version does. So, yeah, I, I'm down. Let's do it. Heavy things have more value, but heavy is hard to carry. It is important how you carry. That is where you show your worth. All right, got to get the lay of the land. So we start with destroying some dwarf orange bulbs. I can have yellow Pikmin on these electric walls because. Yeah, it'll just be important to clear up the shortest paths to carry things. But even more important is getting Pikmin. We've got yellow Pikmin, rock Pikmin, more rock Pikmin over here, and that might be it. Is that... Yeah, other than those, that might be our only Pikmin here. Ah, and there's a doggy door for Ochi to come up here. Is there any other way to get Pikmin up there? Yes! Via a bouncy mushroom. So... Yeah, we just... We definitely want to get through these rooms to get all the Pikmin that we can. And then... Maybe... I don't think Ochi can jump that, so... We'll have to get Ochi over to here in order to get through all of the stuff that's up here. And I can throw Pikmin up to him, but I can't go up there myself. So that'll be a solo Ochi expedition. And then as soon as we have all of the stuff finished from that, I'm gonna wanna have Ochi start carrying some of the heavier stuff down here, if he can. Um, because I need Pikmin for gold nuggets. Uh, that is a time sink for which Pikmin are much better suited. So, I think with all of that together, um, we start yellow Pikmin on these walls. Two on this one. Three on this one. And then we head toward grabbing more Pikmin. That's right, we can just whistle them right out of the ground. That saves so much time. Set. Some rock pickman on that. Oh! Oh dear. Sorry, yellow pickman. In fact, Maybe I just set a couple rock Pikmin on that, because they can handle that without getting crushed. I should not put any yellow Pikmin toward that. Oh, there were yellow Pikmin in here! Perfect. Okay, just repeat. No, I'm... <laughs> Please aim at the enemy. This is not going to work out well if I don't have enough Pikmin. And I certainly don't have as many now. 
but <laughs> Ochi can still go through here. Yeah, I'm at a disadvantage now, but it's still gonna work out. Let's beat this Master Pot. Alright, Ochi's on the upper end, so let's send him some Pikmin. Um, and in the meantime, what do I do? I'm gonna go gather up these Pikmin. So now, um, I'm gonna start Rock Pikmin on this gold, and I... Oh, I could... I could use that rope! Yeah, actually, let's do this. That didn't work. Yes. Set some Rock Pikmin on this. Uh, I carry this. And now, it's just a matter of collection. And Ochi is gonna be pivotal to that. Because... I don't even have that many Pikmin here. So... Ochi, carry the heavy stuff. I really should get more of the stuff uh, on the upper level using Ochi. Let's see. So, Ochi, um, first of all, no Pikmin in your party. You don't need Pikmin. You need to get up here. A bomb! Okay, if I reattempt this, if I have to reattempt this, then that'll be good to know because that will dispatch the enemies that uh, cost me Pikmin a lot quicker. I need two more Pikmin for that. Ochi, carry this. Okay, he's transporting. I need to head back to the base. I need to constantly be ready to reuse Pikmin. Okay, then um, I need to head up here. I know that's not fully transported, but I think that's going to be okay. Yeah, there we go. I think the, uh... The gold nuggets are gonna be my demise here. Yeah, there's still so many left. But I can climb up there now, so I could... put a few more Pikmin on this. This will all be important to remember as I'm seeing myself needing to retry this. But that's all the treasure up, up top. So let's get Ochi on this. Um, it's just gold. Gold's all that's left. Let's get the further gold first. Oh, 
Ochi, um, you carry the ocarina. What's left? More gold. It's gonna come down to the wire, but I might just have it. Please, deliver that gold! Oh, they're not gonna make it. But I... Uh, I got gold. <laughs> That's good enough for now. I will return to this. And I missed a Wally Hop. Okay, so... Not as good as I thought, but... Well, anything less than Platinum is not good enough in... For me. Because <laughs> it's only eight more Dondori points! But I'll get it. For now, that's... Good enough for Jazz. So incredible, I feel dizzy. Thirty pieces of raw material is your reward. You did it! Come on, let's get the castaway out of here, Scruffy. Okay. We've now explored, how much? 57% of the area. Great. Um... Is this where the gold was? It is! Okay. That's where the... The, uh... The big bar of gold was. Huh, someone missed it. There we go. Let's see. Is this the shortest... I believe this is the closest base you could be bringing this to, so... Let's see if we can get it there before the day is totally over. Good. Some treasures, a new base, a Dondori challenge. It feels good. Leafling recovered. Good work! As usual. I'll need a night mission for that. Let's get this one cured. Don't stop exploring now! Okay, but I will have to pretty soon. <laughs> the day's almost over. Two? Where are the... Ah. Can't leave... Pikmin behind like that. There we are. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Not a bad day. We got quite a bit done. Around 20% more of the area explored. Great, a little more in the pup drive. The Dazzle series is complete. Which, oh my, affords a very large Sparklium bonus. Oh, and the Toys of Giants series is complete. Which is still a quite handsome sparkly and bonus. Okay, so, we got another portable sunset. We uh, completed the Toys of Giants series with the faux fishy. We got two more fastening items. Completed the Dazzle series with the golden vaulting table. <laughs> uh, 
Got another heroine's tear and another dusk pustules. Great. All right. Yeah, so nearly 60% complete. And no Pikmin lost today, except the uh, Pikmin lost during the Dondori challenge, which is probably... Uh, that was the fatal flaw in my plan that prevented me from getting a platinum there. And, I, and of course, just losing Pikmin never feels good, <laughs> even if they aren't your Pikmin. But we will go on. You know, when I saw those glow pikmin -y things, an old memory came back to me. Something I'd almost forgotten. Mm-hmm. What kind of memory? It was back at home. One day out of nowhere, my body suddenly started to glow. It lasted for like three days, I think. No. Huh. I don't remember that at all. It was probably just a bad dream or something. Not worth digging into any further. I hope he doesn't remember anything else. Oh my! <laughs> Yanni! <laughs> Dingo is not to be your test subject like that, Yanni. Okay, we now have one leafling at our uh, base, but before I go on another mission, another night mission that is, I'm gonna take another day here and get the other leafling. I know there's another leafling at another Dondori challenge here, and I wanna get them both and then see if I can knock both out with a night mission. So, let's head back. Hello? We're gonna cure Ochi and return home together. I know we will! Can you go? Which area would you like to explore? Alright, back to it. Back to the automatic amount. And let's see here. So there's another Dondori challenge, and I know I want to get that done. And it should be close, pretty close by, I think. Oh my. Ugh. Bad part about doodle bugs is that, or any beetles like this, is that they lead you into danger. But I got to collect the spoils. Another bridge to build, or a ramp. That is probably the tunnel that leads to the Dondori challenge. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's the one. Great. And if I build this ramp... Okay, that leads up to more of the area that I haven't seen yet. So, I think we'll do the Dondori challenge first. 
and then head up there. There was some, uh, it looked like I completed a mission there, but I'm not sure which one. Oh, and before I forget, let's do this. And then a little of this. Oh, because that appears to be where Louie and Moss are camping out. So, uh... I think I want to make that... Ooh! Oh, shoot! Pikmin! Oh! Never mind, then. I would have thought they led to a treasure. But I suppose not. Just you wait, Louie. If you're ready to get clobbered in another Dondori battle. But before we do that, let's see. We've got another Dondori challenge over here. There's another one. Dondori anytime. Dondori anywhere. Dondori over and over and over again. They're completely consumed. We must break the cycle. Okay. Oasis of Order. Hmm. We've got Winged Pikmin, Purple Pikmin, and White Pikmin. And plenty of poisonous sticky molds to remove. And likely some heavy treasures and, uh... Well, some high, uh high up treasures that only Winged Pikmin could likely reach. So let's do it! This is my cave. You are here to train Dondori. Train, train, and train some more. Oh, this is... The layout of uh, <laughs> the uh, Sage Leaf trial that took me so long. So, we've got Winged Pikmin to, un to pluck over here. We've got White Pikmin at the corners. And we've got some White Pikmin up here. A uh, yeah, all the corners have White Pikmin. They're going to be invaluable. Um, so I think I should just walk around like plucking them. I can just whistle them out of the ground, so might as well. Like so. Here, I can rush right through you. Oh, I'll need raw materials for that. Interesting. Ah. And I'll need to convert Pikmin into purple Pikmin for the heavy stuff. Ah, I got this wrong. I think I should be able to lock on to the spot caps since it's so eager to lock onto everything else. raw materials, so let me start some winged picking on that. Actually, hold up. Ochi can 
carry that. What else have we got here? Um, and Ochi, how about you carry this, too? Because that way... Uh, we don't have to bring down that, uh, that metal board. Which saves us some time. There is another bull board to carry over there, but Winged Pikmin can do that. Pumpkin. That uh, is what purple Pikmin are for. Yeah, we should head over here. And then Ochi, you can carry this. Nope, nope, that's the old method. I can just whistle them out. Is there anything right there? No. No buried treasure there. It's just the stuff up here. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I need to head up here. Here. Ochi, you can take these Pikmin over here to collect that last little Full board. And then I. Oh! There we go. Well, I'll put two Pikmin on that, and then this purple Pikmin can carry that. And then we need to get up there, so let's start Pikmin building this. Perfect. Any more enemies over here? Yes. You. There we go. I mean, you're gonna be slow, but... Uh, no, please carry that. Yeah, but I think you can make it back in time. Have a couple more winged Pikmin on this. Out of the water, please. And then up here, I can start a bunch of white Pikmin on this and start purple Pikmin on these. Great. Now... Ooh, there's gold up there. Okay. Okay. So all remaining Pikmin, especially the speedy ones... Whoever can carry it. Go ahead, Ochi. <laughs> We're running out of time. But it's white Pikmin, right? They're they're super fast. Oh no! Oh, I should have had more Pikmin on that. Okay, once again, it all came down to gold nuggets. With no enemies remaining that time, nothing else except gold nuggets. And eight more once again! <laughs> but that will do for now. I'll revisit both of those. Oh, wow. Incredible.
incredible, Dandori. It's shocking. You beat the record. Take these 30 pieces of raw material. They passed out. This is our chance to rescue them. No. With all that leaf growth, no way to tell who it is. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's freeze this area here real quick. Oh, and let's set our base over here so that it's easy to transport that castaway. And then... I suppose we head up here. Yeah, there's more to do up here, including confront Louie. Because I have a feeling that uh, even if we procure uh, Nell and rescue her, I have a feeling that's not quite gonna be it. That Nell is gonna know what to do with Ochi's tail, but not have the resource yet. This is our 20th Leafling Rescue! That's quite the accomplishment! Oh. We, have to f have, we have to have found everyone by now, don't you think? I hope that's my their way of telling me that uh, I have found all the Leaflings. Oh, that's a Startle Spore. Clear out all of this first. Is that another startle spore? No. It's just this one. But it is there no longer. Okay, you're in the mud, which is quite difficult, unless I use Ice Pick. Oh, and that freezes you! That's not difficult at all! You can't even break free! That's crazy! I suppose that's to be expected, but... Still, it surprised me. Awesome. Here, let's just rush. I think the only other thing... Yeah, it's up there. Hmm. Watch out! There's Louie! Phew, Nell appears unharmed. Enough of this. We need you to cooperate. <laughs> There's no cooperating with Louie. Come on! He ran away! Again! Hurry up and go rescue Nell, Ochi and Scruffy! Okay, uh, just as soon as those... Um, raw materials are delivered. Which should put us at about noon.
And then we'll have more of the day. We can go up and explore parts of the area that we haven't yet. Mm. There we go. Okay. Final battle. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Rescue Nell Veterinarian. Right. Okay. We only have Winged Pikmin. And the area is covered in poison enemies, so Ochi is going to be invaluable here. Definitely. Is it just that Louis like trying to imitate Olimar, even though it's not working? <laughs> I don't get it. What's happening? It's all right. She hasn't sprouted any leaves because she's been drinking glow sap. Right? Remember what the doctor said. Hmm. I don't know, but I doubt he'll be handling over. He'll be handing over Nell anytime soon. We need to rescue her by any means necessary. You're up, you two. Ochi, Scruffy, don't let me down. Okay. We can't afford to lose. That's right. So... It's so inconvenient. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm very curious. Perfect. Okay. Ochi will carry a bonus find while I grow Pikmin here. Um. Hmm. That still takes a while to dig, even with Ochi. I'll take some more, I guess. Oops. Uh, there we go. Uh, yes, I want you to carry that, Ochi. Pikmin can carry this. Yes, keep off. You. Uh, here, Ochi. Oh, hey. We're not about to let... Louis collect any of these. At least on our side. Although he tried. He tried to, uh... Oh, those aren't... Wait, are they poisonous? Maybe they aren't. Oops. No, that was not good thinking. I had never had any Pikmin actually vacuumed by this thing. I didn't know that it uh, just eats them that way. <laughs> That's pretty brutal. Let's see. Could grow a couple more Pikmin here. Louis trying to get ahead with a. Uh... Yeah. Bonus find here. And I'll take this item and stay away from my mine at least. <laughs> Nope! Ah, shoot! <laughs> I keep accidentally placing them. Mm. 
letting Louie catch up too much. Yeah, I need to start preventing some of his captures as well as getting my own. So at least this can be my own capture. I keep wanting to ride Ochi, but I... Lay mines instead. Nice and shiny. Actually, hang on, Ochi. Now you can turn the tides. There it is. I just need a way up there. Yeah, I don't think so. Here. Ochi, you swallow that. I've got to just focus on getting more quick. You're persistent. There we go. Okay. Now Ochi will be bringing back some of that. Uh, probably this one. Yeah. I have ten Pikmin, what could I grab? I could grab this! I can't grab that. So, I'm still ahead, but not by enough of a margin for Platinum. I really could have used those mines more effectively, but the button is just the same one to ride Ochi, so I wasn't sure what to do. It's going pretty well. Not well enough. What if I have Ochi carry this? And then I have Winged Pikmin, more of them, carry this. You're strong. Okay, that puts me ahead, but uh, still not by enough. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Ochi. Let's prevent some of these collections here. Oh, but I can't because they're winged Pikmin. I don't know if Ochi could reach. <laughs> Take that! <laughs> I don't know what to do yet. Yeah, I, I win, but uh, not with a platinum lead, so this will be another one to revisit. The Sneak Bomb... I shouldn't put so much faith in it, because it doesn't really subtract... Uh, it, it did that first time, when the Dondori level was lower, and I was facing Leafling Olimar. But now that I'm at, like, Dondori level 5, the Sneak Bomb doesn't really subtract that much, so... You know, I should try to prevent it from reaching my side, but I shouldn't let it distract me too much, I think. I also really need to step up with the bonus finds. Louis definitely found more than I did. Oh. <laughs> oh. Louis run off somewhere. Never mind that, we need to rescue Nell! We should secure Moss as well. We don't want her to end up back in Louie's care. 
my care. <laughs> I, I'd rather her, she end up in my care. I care about her. Once we get her out of here, I'll command Moss to head to the rescue command post. You can do that? Huh. Okay, head back up. You can leave Moss to Olimar. Oh. Hi, Moss. Captain Olimar needs to communicate directly with Moss. Moss, can you hear my voice? <laughs> can you find me at my current location? Track me down? Okay, Moss. I'll see you at the rescue command post soon. That's quite a long journey. Are we okay with that? Amazing. I wonder if she'll actually make it all the way back to you. Olimar, could you have done that at any time? Like, we could have stopped Louie if we could just get Moss to listen. <laughs> oh, she'll make it all right. She should arrive sometime tonight, I think. To lead her all the way there from here, it's impressive to say the least. All right, we better recover Nell now. Scruffy, Ochi, you got this. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, it's still not quite noon, so... Let's see. We want to travel up that ramp and get to the one place that we haven't explored in this area yet. And recover a Flarlick. Because why not? More mud. And sounds like somewhere here there's a bog swallow. A puppy's brand dog dish. There you are. Oh, two of them. Deal with them one at a time. Uh oh. Can't if they use teamwork. Ha. Okay. <laughs> Good news! We rescued Nell! Nell from Home Planet Kopai, a uniquely talented veterinarian at the top of her field. She's here with Don Bergman and crew in pursuit of treasure. And yeah, she does very much resemble Brittany from Pikmin 3. Thank you, thank you! Oh, Nell. Seriously, we can't thank you enough. We're both so grateful. Right. But that doesn't have that doesn't mean we've got the cure for Ochi yet. If anybody knows what to do about Ochi's tail, she'll be the one. Once she wakes up, we'll find out. All right, let's deal with this other bog swallow and then see what's over here. Great. Hmm. It seems we've reached a dead end. Rock looks out of place, doesn't it? Oh. Interesting. What if I... Okay, no. Even, o even OG, at his current power, can't remove a rock that big. But it's curious that you bring that up. Oh, wait, I left some behind! Hmm, well, let's just send out a homesick signal. And then set home to be here.
Okay. And now... Oh, shoot. I left them carrying that treasure. And that flarlick. Let's see. They're all the way... Over there. I that was a mistake. That's okay. I will head to their location. I'll set the base to somewhere convenient. Like there. And no harm done. <laughs> they were singing the, the Dondori battle theme. <laughs> the one against Olimar. Or the, the final one against Olimar. Hmm, seems the homesick signal didn't even bring everybody all the way back. It released more nectar! This must be how it processes nutrients from the extra fly lick. Okay, the other idle Pikmin made it back, though. That's good. And now... Oh. I suppose, uh... Last thing to do will be to, uh, use Ochi's nose to detect where more treasure might be, if there's any buried here. Oral Arguments series is complete. Alright, Ochi. Um, sniff out some treasure. <gasps> None? Really? We're done here? We're not done here. There's something behind that rock, because we are only 87% of the way finished with this area. And yet, you're telling me there's no more treasures on the field. Something suspicious about that, Ochi. Well? Okay, then. Um, how are my Pikmin numbers looking? Looking good to me. I, I could stand to maybe farm some winged Pikmin. So, let me at least get that number above a hundred. And to do that, how about I bring out all the winged Pikmin I have? That way, all of these pellets will be singularly colored. How did I forget? I don't have to whistle them out of the ground, I can just... Or, I don't have to pluck them out of the ground, I can just whistle them. Ugh. 
Oops. Right. Sorry about that. Sorry, Ochi. Uh-oh. You okay? Look at Ochi. Even a brave pup like him gets scared sometimes. Don't push him. I'm sorry, Ochi. Can you carry that? Yeah. Can you? Yeah, there you go. It's got like little fins. <laughs> Very interesting like combo of a fish and an insect. I'm not sure if this will make it back in time. It will, but I'm not sure if I'll pluck the Pikmin in time. Even with the whistle. Can't add any more Pikmin to it, so let's just see. Yeah, not quite. <laughs> Two rescues today. Working on that pup drive. Completed the oral arguments series. Great. And in addition to nuggets, I got the bathing pool, <laughs> which is the dog dish, uh, the delectable bouquet, and the crunchy deluge. Wonderful. Once again, no Pikmin lost, and we've got the area up to 87%, but Ochi didn't find any other treasures, so something's definitely up with that mysterious rock that we discovered in the corner of the map there. Like, look how many treasures we're missing! 41 out of 89, and a rescue? Yeah, something's up. Nell hasn't woken up yet? She's probably exhausted. And it's possible she hasn't eaten anything since he crashed onto this planet. No. Hey, wake up. You all right? No, honey. The Dobbs, quit it. You really want to mess with Nell when she hasn't eaten? It's good. Mm, good point. That could go badly. Let's just leave her be for now. I expect that she'll wake up by tomorrow on her own. Then we'll ask her to examine Ochi as soon as possible. Right. Let's get to it. Nell, we're so relieved to see that you're all right. I admit it was touch and go there for a while. I think the biggest threat that I faced was to my own empty stomach. Now that we're reunited, it feels like I can finally breathe. A little bit of... The Kopai theme on the Glockenspiel there. We owe you Rescue Corps folks big time. No. Nonsense. We're just doing our jobs. Public yes. That's quite enough pleasantries for now. Your doctor filled me in on the current situation. I'd like to have a look at Ochi right away. Hmm. So the tip of his tail is morphed completely into a leaf, and not like the one I could easily pluck from a plant there. The symptoms seem to be quite similar to those displayed by the leaflings, if I'm not mistaken. And you've already tried administering your medicine? 
Yes, I did, but it had no effect. I see. What exactly does this medicine consist of? It's a combination of glow sap and non lethified cells from a non lethified individual. Hmm. Well, I think we've struck upon our main issue then. If administered as a preventative measure, the medicine may have worked. But to cure a space dog, you need space dog cells. Do you think you could make a dose of the medicine using Moss's cells instead? Excellent idea. I'm on it. That wouldn't work because Moss is also leafified. Well, shucks, it didn't work. My guess is that we need cells from a dog that hasn't been leafified. Yeah. Where are we gonna find a dog like that on this planet? Excuse me, but while preparing to harvest cells from Moss, I came across this. Oh, of course! The Dog Thing's Den. I found the huge dog thing near the large rock at the back of the swamp. It had something in its mouth. It was that pink person who had the yummy juice. She's getting in the way. I'll just drop her somewhere. Oh, man. A huge dog thing? Could he be talking about... Uh, not Moss. That giant dog? Moss. Exactly! We'd be fools to discount that giant dog-like creature that ran away with Nell. Oh, right! I was carried away by some sort of giant dog, wasn't I? I just bounced along on its back all over the place. We never stopped to eat, so I must have just passed out from hunger. Honestly, is that any way to treat a renowned medical professional? Now, can you remember the dog's tail? Did it have a leaf? Not that I can recall. Though it was hard to see much under the, all that fluff. If we're able to collect cells from that dog, we must be able to save... We may just be able to save Ochi. And Moss. Well, no, not that... No, actually, Moss wouldn't be saved because... As far as we know, Moss began this way. The only problem now is, where's that giant dog? Well, now that Moss is here with us, it's possible that Louie will try to find and adopt that other dog. If we follow Louie's scent, it could lead us right to the pooch we're looking for. It's worth a shot. We have a new mission. Track down Louie in the primordial thicket. Keep your eyes peeled for any signs of that giant dog. Copy that. Got a lead for curing Ochi. Oh dear. To cure Ochi's tail, we need cells from a dog without a leaf on its tail. You need to get close to that giant dog that Louie is with. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, uh, before I get to that. We've got more leaflings here that I can immediately cure with Glow Sap. And uh, we've got a couple missions complete here because of the battles we completed. Oi. Interesting, interesting. Your Dondori skills are becoming second nature. Wonderful. Well, there you go. You earned it. Oh, but I have to get platinum. And I'm missing one. Your skill is improving. Well done. This is the result of all your effort and training. You should be proud of yourself. But there's two left to get platinum in. And... Nell, let's talk to you before the night mission. I'm quite sure I'll be able to cure Ochi. Though, I'll need cells from a dog whose tail is not a leaf. If you're able to acquire these, please bring them to me. I'll whip, up a, I'll whip up a cure right away. Right. Okay. Now. Yeah, let's do a night expedition for these two. And then... Yeah. If the medicine doesn't work on Ochi, that just means I get to do more research. Where's our next adventure? In the primordial thicket. 
at the autumnal gully. So maybe this is the last one. Let's try it. Okay, this is definitely not enough glow Pikmin for a five-star, or a five-level danger, uh, night mission. I definitely need to acquire more. Seems we've got some... ...slooches. Got one Tricknoll here. And we have two Luminols to protect. Here, uh, Ochi, Ochi, hold up. This is a job for Glow Pikmin. <laughs> How about you defend the orange luminol, which is quite a distance away. The creatures are starting to perk up. You'd better protect the Luminol. <laughs> okay. Another smoky prog to deal with. But, we can do this. How's it looking? Who's even coming for it? Okay, some slooches. Okay. Oh dear. And a, uh, an emperor. Here, Ochi. Start with these. And then we'll deal with you. Yeah, you do a lot of damage. Excellent. All right. And thanks to the boost from that, you might not be such a problem. got a lot of health, but... Yeah, no big deal. Though I do fear whatever that other noise was. Alright, what you got, Ochi? Oh no, not you again. Everybody climb up. Um, we've got some attacking there, but I don't have any glow picking with me either. Yeah, these aren't so bad. These aren't as bad as you. I need some to work on the other luminal. Because that loses health quickly. Oh dear. Oh, but not quick enough. Whew, okay. 
Okay, okay. So now all that's left is a smoky prog, two smoky progs, and you. Just get a couple more, and then one big glow mob. <laughs> and I pitch in, beat him up, then we did it. <laughs> Once again, like, I I've had quite a few nail-biting moments over this playthrough, and that was one of them. Those, I, I did not account for how dangerous those uh, little dwarf bulb orbs would be. Nah. You put in the effort out there, no blood. Now we can make the cure. Indeed we can. Even Moss has come to say hello. Excellent. That's two for our two leaflings. Pup drives up to seven. Ooh. Okay. And we earned some glow seeds. We didn't even spend any on that. Welcome back from your night expedition. At last, I can make the medicine, and it's all thanks to New Blood here. Well done! I'll have the medicine formulated by morning. Just you wait and see. <laughs> Great. Alright. Right. Minister the cure at once. Yes, Captain. Who have we got here? Ooh. Faux from home planet Konohan acquired his enormous wealth by creating and subsequently selling IT startups. His motto is be the first to jump ship. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right then. And Bo from Home Planet Konohan. His talent and reputation for method acting precedes him. No matter the role, he's he always plays himself perfectly. Well, amazing. The radar isn't pi isn't picking up the presence of any more leaflings. Could that mean we've cured every last leafling on this planet? <laughs> awesome. That means I am the only leafling looking person left on this planet. <laughs> Great work, everyone. Tales of our success will be passed down for generations. Right. And that means some new people to talk to. Uh, and Bernard's mission is complete. Ah. They're all cured! Well done! It's official. You are a full-fledged member of the crew. Whoo, I am so glad I asked for your help. And Moss is here too! <laughs> 
Hi, Moss. Hmm. Everything will work out. I'm confident we'll find a way to cure Ochi. Let's chat. The truth about Louis is that he has a good heart, deep down, beneath all those clumsy and awkward parts. I'm sure he had his own Louis-like reasons for challenging you to a Dondori battle. Do you think you could let it go and forgive him for me? If you think I can be of any help, please don't be shy. Until next time. <laughs> Let's see here. Where is... Where are my new rescues? Over here. So you're the startup person. <laughs> the, the IT startup person. Oh, you're the one who rescued me? I'm Fox. I know what comes next. You want me to thank you, right? By the way, how much are you charging me for that? <laughs> I hope it's not exorbitant. Game. It's what? It's free? So this Rescue Corps is a charity group then? <laughs> I wonder. You know, Alvin and I traveled here together, but some somehow he rescued he was rescued before me. I mean, we were on the same spaceship. Did I land in a bad location? Great, I've fallen behind him now. <laughs> And now for Bo. It would be remiss of me not to acknowledge or even thank you for saving my life. So, thank you. That said, I came here as an actor and a master of my craft, with the express purpose to get shipwrecked. False. I'm preparing for a role, you see. But I'm sure this experience, being saved, can put me to use as well. You're researching a role by getting shipwrecked. If you must know, I will be embodying the lead role in a series where my character is shipwrecked on an unknown planet. I always prepare for roles through real-life experiences. Though finding an unexplored planet was a challenge. I nearly gave up. But then, out of nowhere, I heard about this uncharted planet, and I couldn't let the opportunity slip through my fingers. So as you can see, being shipwrecked was my true intention. But my plans were cut short when my suit's force sleep mode kicked in. Yeah, all the suits here seem to do that. But, uh... <laughs> more power to you, I suppose. Although, I, uh... I've gotta cut your... Your role research short in favor of, you know, rescuing you from certain peril. But... Good! That's all good. We've... Got all of the leaflings cured. I see that the pup drive is one short of Ochi learning to rush forever, and there's one more rescue to be made in the thicket, the primordial thicket. I have a hunch that it might be Louis, that we might be saving Louis from whatever he found in the dog's den. But that is going to come next time. Not so fast. Hello. I'm Scruffy recording in post, and I decided the challenges and battles I took on in this episode ought to be platinum before the finale. So I'll commentate each of the later attempts that won a platinum medal, back to back. We'll start with Cliffhanger's Hold on my fifth attempt. I still put my initial yellow Pikmin on the two electric walls in this room. It's fine to slow burn those tasks and open up more paths back to the beagle. The same goes for Rock Pikmin on the crystal wall in this next room, but not without first dispatching this Wally Hawk with them. I've also learned the value of these dirt mounds. This one houses a bomb rock that will make quick work of an orange bulborb, so I set my yellow Pikmin on that to keep them safe, and then set a few Rock Pikmin working on beating this Master Hop. With the bomb rock secured, I put the rest of my yellow Pikmin toward another dirt mound, containing Ultra Spicy Spray and I head over to swiftly defeat the first orange bulbul. Bull. 
Then all my remaining Pikmin and Ochi dig up the final dirt mound, which contains one last bomb rock, for the final bull board that gave me so much trouble the first time around. After I add more yellow Pikmin to this electric wall, I have Ochi enter the doggy door in this room, and then rush back to the opposite end of the cliff to gather Pikmin for the bouncy mushroom. All the collectibles I'm passing up here can wait, since they're closer to the base. One nice side effect of having those yellow Pikmin dig up the spicy spray is that they're right there, ready to bounce. And then I'm ready to bounce back to the base to clean up idle Pikmin as they finish up neighboring obstacles. Ochi, meanwhile, has a solo mission up here, collecting the Pikmin I transferred to him and taking care of one last Wally Hop with a few good rushes. After that, I need to open access to this cliff using this rope. And then I collect this hanging bike bell, uh, even if I miss a few throws. Then I come back in to pick up idle Pikmin and start them on basically phase two of this whole mission, cleaning up all the remaining spoils. Gold nuggets especially need attention promptly, and smaller objects can be picked up now, while the heavier objects can be saved for when Ochi comes back down. Speaking of Ochi, I need him to start some Pikmin on these gold nuggets, which wastes a bit of time as I have only the nearby Pikmin climb up this rope again. But with at least some Pikmin started on it, Ochi can now complete his most important task, getting cliff-bound treasures down onto the ground. There's plenty of straggler Pikmin at this base, so I take them on another tour of collecting smaller objects. Though I probably should have started some on the pile of gold nuggets near the base. Checking the map, I decide it's probably a good time to start Pikmin on larger objects like the bull boards as well. And now I start on this goal. Took me long enough. With no one idle except for Ochi, it's time for him to race some yellow Pikmin and get back to the cliff for another delivery. Now there are idle Pikmin about, so I grab some more small items. Although, this doesn't leave me with enough Pikmin in my squad for anything else, so I have to call one Gold Nugget Pikmin to make an even 10 with which to collect the other orange bullboard. Ochi's third delivery starts now, but I didn't realize up until now that Pikmin don't follow Ochi through the doggy door, so I can't enact a plan to more efficiently collect gold, the gold nuggets up on this cliff. That's alright. Ochi's being efficient enough carrying these treasures. So, I need to collect the rock pikmin left standing at the door, and carry something heavy with them. Any remainder pikmin can add to the gold nugget effort. Repeating that process only yields six yellow Pikmin, which makes me realize uh, starting with the heavier objects probably would yield better results on this stage. So let's switch back to Ochi and use the Go Here function for his final cliff delivery, the Wally Hop course, which tripped me up on my first attempt. That way, I can redeem a little Dondori by grabbing more Pikmin in the meantime to carry the Ocarina. And then waste it, waffling between potential plans for how to use the rest of my Pikmin. Uh, gold nuggets it is.
Now most everyone's busy again, which is good. As soon as this ocarina is delivered, I can grab a more substantial army for the Master Hop. And now Ochi's finished too, so that's nearly everything complete. Except this pile of gold nuggets, the trickiest one. So I have to scramble together reinforcements and myself to climb the rope and add whatever Pikmin I can to speed up carrying those last five nuggets. Only a couple seconds left on the clock, but it all works out in the end. Not the most glamorous platinum medal, but a platinum medal all the same. Next up is Oasis of Order. This one only took me one further attempt for a Platinum. First thing to do is always getting more Pikmin. And now that I have the plucking whistle, I don't have to worry about Pikmin sprouts being up on the ledge, they come right to me. So with these white Pikmin, I now feel safer about defeating these moldy dwarf bulwarks. Ride Ochi to cross the river and pluck a few more white Pikmin, who have much less trouble with the poison hazards here than in my last attempt. Though, I do manage to overthrow a few winged Pikmin. This time, it's winged Pikmin getting converted into purple Pikmin, because I feel the white Pikmin I have are a bit more useful for carrying speed in this challenge. Gotta collect more of these corner sprouts, and then defeat this moldy slooch. Though a rush doesn't leave my Pikmin safe from its poison hazard. And whistling them accidentally whistles these white sprouts from the ground, so I have to keep them from drowning. But this was my next destination anyway. So I create this bridge, defeat the moldy dwarf Bulborg, and start some Pikmin collecting the spoils here, especially those raw materials. The final group of Pikmin sprouts rests beneath this love nugget in the corner, and I set some more white Pikmin to carry that. Now I just need to collect all the remaining items, so time to get some more white Pikmin unearthing this anxious sprout, some purple Pikmin grabbing the mysterious carriage, if I can properly throw them. And winged Pikmin on the gold nuggets. Regrouping with idle Pikmin, it's back across the river to start on all the treasures here which have to take the long way around. And definitely white Pikmin on these gold nuggets, that's a big time sink. Ochi can carry the yam. Timing worked out really well with the mysterious carriage, so I can pick up some straggling items. 
and start digging out this zucchini. Then I get white Pikmin started on building this climbing wall. Ochi's finished delivering his yam, so I can have him help carry the anxious sprout. Now everyone's busy but me for a bit. Okay, there we go. I can take this group to help with the zucchini. And then I can use a rush from Ochi to knock over this potato and secure the remaining items from this far shore. Any remaining idle Pikmin are set on some further off enemy corpses. And since Ochi can't head up on the high ledge, I send him to pick up the furthest moldy slooch corpse. The climbing wall is complete just in time for me to scramble up. I need to get all these items secured like yesterday. So I start with the gold. All my purple Pikmin are occupied though, so this is a bit of a Gondori bottleneck. White Pikmin really want to carry the heavy stuff rather than the gold, but eventually I get them where they need to go. And now it's only the gold nuggets that need worrying about. Even the far shore gold nuggets are complete, it's just the gold from the two ledges that needs to return. But I don't have enough time to put more Pikmin on it, so I just have to wait for everyone. That only leaves a single second of time to spare. I could really stand to improve this time later. But again, a platinum's a platinum. Jin had this to say once all of the Dondori challenges were platinum. Well done. The simulation in your mind seems to be quite thorough. Mastering Don Dory is a process that never ends. Your effort will continue to shape you forever. Thank you very much, Jin. Now there's only one challenge left, facing off with Louie in the final battle. This is my third attempt. I'll be honest, I was expecting to hear the final trial-ish theme that I heard in my final battle with Leapling Olimar, but it was kind of a pleasant surprise to hear the first Dondori battle theme instead. It's quite a strong melody. So, while the winged Pikmin propagate themselves, Ochi needs to start securing the first pieces of Dondori, especially that bonus find portable sunset. But as soon as the winged Pikmin have a few pellets collected, I have to save both items that I just secured from getting stolen by Louie. That's what really makes Louie a high Dondori opponent. He's so sneaky. His winged Pikmin even hound Ochi while he swallows the persimmon. Anyway. I then deal with two parts of this course that gave me grief on my first attempt because I neglected them. This watery blowhog... ...and then this bag ramp to the upper level.
This will give me easy passage for these Shearwigs. And the Sunseed Berry. Now the bonus find is a Waddle Quaff, who also gave me some trouble on the first attempt. But not nearly as much trouble when I activate a Spicy Spray. In fact, it feels like we accomplish quite a bit in a single run of Spicy Spray. From eradicating a wall, to securing over 10 Dondori points, which we definitely need to keep pace with Louie. But it wears off eventually, and Winged Pikmin once again aren't the best attackers, so they have a little bit of trouble with a Moldy Dwarf full board. But with a well-timed lightning item, it stuns both Louie's army and any enemies nearby, which is exactly the help I needed. It gives me enough time to steal Louie's Waddle Quaff, and make off with a Zest Bomb, right as I accidentally summon the Baldy Longlegs in the center of the stage. A tip for Dondori experts, unless your army is huge, that boss is not worth it. Check out this luck. As soon as my Pikmin deliver the Waddle Clock, the next big bonus is the Zest Bomb, which is exactly what Ochi was carrying next. So now my lead is solidly in the Platinum range. And my army is strong, so I can focus on stealing any of Louis's big ticket items. Especially this zest bomb. This is where Louis employs a little known but very effective strategy. Cluttering the screen with dialogue, <laughs> enemy Pikmin, whistles, and sneak bomb alerts all at once, which does a very good job of confusing me. His dialogue really gets a lot of real estate, as does Collins. So things go to chaos for a little moment, while trying to secure and steal a bunch of sunseed berries, while some winged Pikmin fall prey to another watery blowhog, and some just get sidetracked by the baldy longlegs. But I think I make off with a majority of these bonus finds. And after that, I'm at least able to dispatch this blowhog a second time. That was a doozy. I think that Louis, for the most part, tries to avoid conflict. I try going for a high Dondori insect condo, but then I spy a golden sniffer and decide Ochi should upgrade to swallowing that. I, meanwhile, grab the rest of my army to carry and unearth the insect condos. And wouldn't you know it, the game approves of my decision by making the insect condos into bonus finds. I pass by the sneak bomb a couple times here. Notice how neither Louie nor I has bothered to use it in this whole match. I think my biggest improvement from my first attempt was not dropping everything for the sneak bomb. I'm focusing instead on supercharging my own Dondori and stealing items from Louie. Er, well, as much as I can. Louis still manages a surprising jump in his own Dondori points.
but with so many bonus finds and the Golden Sniffer secured, my lead just can't be beaten. And that's the final Dondori bout polished up to platinum. Here's what Corgwin had to say about that. Wow, nice work, you did it. Nothing stands in your way, does it? While watching your Dandori skills in action, I knew I had a friend for life. We definitely gotta keep this up. And now, I return you to the Scruffy from the time of recording. Thanks for listening. Yeah, I'm very excited to, to wrap it up next time. So, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'd like to thank my patrons, especially on Patreon, who support my work directly and make things like this possible. And I will see you in the next episode. The finale episode. <laughs> Bye-bye.